It's great, I love these events, the atmosphere is fantastic. It's great that the university has got behind this event to put Cardiff University on the map a little bit more with everyone watching this IAAF World Half Marathon Championships, which is a big incentive in me doing this half marathon so I can say I've entered an IAAF event and get a IAAF medal, even if it's not gold, silver or bronze, <laughs> any medal will do with the stage. There's a lot of staff very keen to get involved with this event. Again, it's a big attraction, just it's beyond just a standard half marathon. Having this World Half Marathon label with it has encouraged lots of people to get involved. There's a few seasoned runners who are, would go anyway, but it's been fun to watch the people who've never run a marathon or anything before in their lives, they've got involved. And it's fun to watch them. There's a lot of talk about training goes on now around the lab and around the offices. And you see these people slowly building up. Them. We'll have some great stories to swap when everyone's finished and got over the finishing line, hopefully. As a research fellow here, the main focus of my research is trying to investigate the links between diet and cancer, in particular bowel cancer in my case. Um, we've known for many, many years the links between diet and cancer. Most people know a good diet is good for you or a bad diet is bad for you. We don't really understand why a good diet is good or a vis a vis a bad diet is bad. So we're trying to understand this a little bit more. I mean, especially in terms of bowel cancer, lifestyle changes could probably prevent about 50% of bowel cancer cases in Britain. So there's a potential to make a huge difference in bowel cancer and mortality rates, of course, if we can get a handle on diet a little bit more. So my research is really focused about looking at the stem cells. That's I'm working at the Stem Cell Institute. And the stem cell in the bowel is where the cancer starts. So I'm looking at how diet, how components of your diet, and you can't forget the bacteria that live in your gut, how they interact with the stem cell in your gut, and how that leads to cancer. And hopefully by understanding that, we'll be able to give people a better idea of why they shouldn't eat things, or why they should eat things. And then hopefully that'll help reduce cancer incidence, and it should lead to insights. We know things help prevent cancer, and if we can understand more about which components of your diet are preventing cancer, it offers us a chance to develop some new therapeutics and new targets or new diagnostics so we can get a bigger handle on it. Working within Cardiff is fantastic in terms of cancer research. We have the hospital up the road here, we have many departments. Cardiff is a traditional university and it covers just about all different disciplines of education and research. So the clinicians, we have them on board, they work with a scientist to help understand and develop new therapies. And of course we have the schools of physics and engineering and with them we can liaise to develop new technologies, new machines and really take a look into cancer from all different angles and exploit as much as we can. And Cardiff University more or less provides everything you need for a cancer researcher, all the links you need to get together and really make a difference in trying to treat the disease.